Hi, you have an AutoCAD drawing and you want to convert it to a PDF one or maybe you have a PDF one and you want to convert it to AutoCAD. How to do it? Well, this video is exactly what you need. Let's get into it. By the way, this drawing here is the one we have used in the last, I mean, um, video series of outdoor planning. If you haven't watched this video series yet, go and do it by clicking on this eye somewhere here. So, to convert an AutoCAD to a PDF, most of people don't use AutoCAD itself, which is like a big mistake. They go online and they just like um, type convert CAD to PDF or something like that. And there's like a lot of websites that do that. Let's, for example, pick this one here. And let's choose the file. I mean that AutoCAD file we have here. It's here. Let's choose this one. We can say convert. Now let's go and download it. And here it is. It seems that there is no problem, but I will show you later that there is a big problem. And the second way to do it, I mean like to convert a AutoCAD to a PDF, I mean the efficient way, the best way to do it is to do it inside AutoCAD itself. So we can go to here to files and go to export, you can export, I mean this AutoCAD to a PDF here. But then the problem is it's not it's not going to export only the drawing. It's going to export, I mean, this area here, which is not exactly what we want. The best way to do that is to go to plot here. And then you, I mean, you go to O2 DWG to PDF. You choose that as a name and then you can choose the paper size, but it's not that important in this case. But if you want to print it, it's important to pick the right one. Let's maybe take A4 or maybe A3. There are two, one landscape and one portrait here. So let's maybe take this one here, which is um, a portrait, or maybe let's take the landscape one here, this one, okay. And then here it says what to plot. If we leave it like this, it's going to plot all this. But let's go to window and it's going to, I mean, tell us to choose what we want to plot. So something like that. It's OK. And then I will center the plot. Look here. And when I center it, boom, it's in, in, the, in the middle. OK. And then I can just see a preview. Here's how it's going to look. It looks OK. I will escape and then save this. OK. I will give it a name. I mean, yep, something like that maybe. And then save. And then it just opens after we save it. And here's how it looks. And then I have this empty area around my drawing. But if I go to this one here, it just, I mean, it left no zero empty area here on the top and zero empty area on the bottom. But this is not the problem. The problem is yet to come because this one here, we have exported, I mean, this drawing here with its layers. I mean, this PDF now has the layers, it has the AutoCAD layers, but this one here, um, you will see. Okay, now that we know how to, I mean, how to um, convert a AutoCAD to a PDF, let's learn how to convert a PDF to a AutoCAD. And again, people go to internet and just type convert PDF to AutoCAD. And then there are again a bunch of um, websites that do that. So let's go and pick this one here, for example. Add a file. Let's go and add this file. It takes some time, obviously, to do it and then download the file. It's, it's a zipped file. I will unzip this here. And then open it. I will open this. So here is the 
growing. There is, I mean, it's not exactly the same as this one here, the original one. No, these hatches are black. We can see though, I mean, the, this white line here in the middle of the road, the zebra crossings, etc. But on here, it's, I mean, we can see kind of everything, but these um, hatches are not exactly the same. Let's go and delete them like one by one. It's like a lot of hatches, not one. Wow. I don't even know what is this here. Okay. I did it this way to just show you that this is not the best way to do it. And if we go to layers, look here. If we go to this one, look at the number of layers we have. Everything here has a layer, but here, the conversion that we have done using the websites, we don't have, I mean, the good layers. But if we want to convert this in the best way that there is, we will go and create a new drawing and go to insert here. And then, I mean, like in this, in insert tab, we can insert a PDF or a DGN. If you click here, it means that it's a PDF or if you click here, it's a DGN or if you click here, it's, it might be like a DGN or a PDF, but let's go and click on the PDF and then let's import the one that we have exported from AutoCAD, this one here. And when we click on it, it says there is like a bunch of informations I can hear. It says that there's only one page, which is okay. But if there are a lot of pages, you can go and choose the page you want. And then you have this small and large thumbnail, but the large is better because you can see, I mean, a preview of your plan. The scale, I will leave it just like it is. The rotation zero, you can go and change the rotation if you want to. And then here, there is a very, very important thing, which is layers. I always, I mean, make it, use pdf layers because it will import the pdf layers that has been exported from the autocad itself before i would don't use these ones here i in here in this import options i say join line and arc segments convert solid fills to hatches apply line weight properties infer line types from collinear dashes and i don't import it as a block and then you have um some other options here, but I mean, this is not interesting. This is enough. And then I go ahead and press OK. Yes, it might take some time. It depends on your computer. And then it's done. Look at this. It's not exactly the same, but we can see everything. It's not exactly the same colors. It's not exactly the same hatches. If you go to the original one, here is the original one. Let's bring it here. I mean, the road, it has like a, a black hatch on here. It's gray, but it's okay. We can see the, I mean, the zebra crossings with different, I mean, this color hatch is not the same, but anyways, it's, it's still there. We can see them, the pavement and the, and the grass is not exactly the same, but in ways, everything is still there. We can see everything, but this is not the, I mean, the important thing, the most important thing. The most important thing is that let's go to home and the most important thing is layers. In the layers, we have exactly the same layers as we have here. Look at these layers here. We have exactly the same ones here and this is why you need to convert pdf to autocad or autocad to pdf all this in autocad you don't need any other software or maybe websites to do it if this video helped you a little please give it a thumbs up and if you have something to add or maybe a question please ask me in the comments down below and that's it for this video. See you in the next week.